Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. This is Brad Being Chill. Today I want to talk about the newly leaked Cinebench scores that came out with the 13-inch MacBook Pro with the new M1 chip inside of it. But before I get into that, I do want to ask if you're not already to please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news with me. Now let's get into it. So the first thing I want to address here is obviously my setup is different for those of you that have watched my videos before. Now I am going to be improving it more in the future, however I have moved a desk to another part of my room to set up these videos in a more formal style where I can face the camera and it's a little bit easier for me. And I do want to improve some things like getting a better camera and getting a better microphone and maybe putting some stuff up on the background to make it look a little bit better. But for now, let me know down in the comments whether you think that this is better or worse than my old studio and give me some tips on how I can improve it to make it better for you guys in the future. Now, I first saw this article on Mac Rumors, and there's this guy on Twitter that got his hands on the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip inside of it a little bit sooner than everybody else. And the first thing he did was pull it out of the box and start running benchmarks on it so everybody could see what it was capable of. The model that he has is the 8 gigabyte of RAM version with the 512 gigabyte SSD. But even considering that's almost the base model for these new Macs, I'd say that the scores are very promising already. When he ran Cinebench on it, we're seeing a multi-core score of 7508 with a single core score of 1498. Now that is very good, especially if we compare it to the previous 16 inch MacBook Pro with the i9 chip at 2.3 gigahertz, whereas that got a multi-core score of 8818. Now that is higher than these new M1 chips, but that machine costs almost two to three times as much and it shows that this first iteration of Apple chips is actually very good. Now we can't say for certain whether or not over more sustained loads that these scores are going to get better or worse, but I'd say later on in the week as more people start getting their hands on these and we start seeing more benchmarks to kind of get a baseline for this, i say we're going to see pretty similar results and maybe it starts to get a little bit lower as these devices start to drag on. However, I do want to point out that this guy did run the Cinebench test on battery life and so that is very good to see, especially considering the low power consumption of these chips, considering these 16 inch MacBook Pros consume way more power and are getting you know, only slightly better results instead of drastically better results, which I think some people were expecting. Now, another interesting thing is that if we compare this new M1 chip to the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the base model i7 chip, it is getting a lower score at 1113 for single core and the multi-core score is 6912. So if you do get this new MacBook Pro for a lot less money, it is going to outperform the base model of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So as I said, let's wait until the end of the week when more people get their hands on these and we can see how these devices perform on more sustained loads. And then we can see people even have videos up where they're doing very specific tasks, like maybe rendering some videos through Rosetta 2 on Premiere Pro or something like that just so we can get a feel of the real world performance because sometimes with these benchmarks, it's hard to get a feel for how these devices are actually gonna perform. So do be skeptical of that. However, I do wanna end it there. If you guys like this content, make sure you smash that like button. And once again, leave me a comment. And let me know what you think of the new studio or what you think of the performance on these new devices are. I'm excited to hear you guys' thoughts about everything. And also I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news with me. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.